Hey guys, Sunny here from Dope Designs, back with another Photoshop quick tip. Oh, it's been quite a while since I made a video, but I'm back, guys. So what I'm gonna be showing you guys today is how to do this cool gloss effect on your on your like 3D text, 2D text, or you could practically do it on anything you want, and it does make it look very professional and nice. So let's just go start up a new uh, canvas. I'm just gonna for this tutorial sake, I'm just gonna write. That's right, that's right, dope designs. Let me just make the text black so it's visible. Um let me bring the size up to 150 and let's just select a cool font. Alright, well this is the font I have on my background right now. It's called Big Macca. I'm just gonna be using this for this to um actually I'll just write dope. How about that? Um alright, so you know, you guys could have this however you want. It could be any color, like anything like that. And now, what you want to do basically is you want to go over to your um, it, it, it to your elliptical marquee tool. It's like the circle one. And if you don't have it, just simply go right click on the on the second tool down on the bar, and you should have the rectangle marquee tool, which is what's usually there. Just change it to the elliptical marquee tool. Tool. And now basically you want to make a new layer and you just want to hold this down anywhere and just kind of drag it like that and as you can see it goes around the text nicely but I kind of um, I want to move it up a little but I'll show you guys so it doesn't really matter you just have to have it a good size and then simply go over to your paint bucket tool make it white and fill it in and Right now, you can't really see it, but th th this is where it gets good. So, so now, um, uh, obviously, you could give it uh, upwards go like that, or from the bottom, and you'll see what I mean in a second. So I'm going to go with the upwards one. So there, you just adjust it however far down you want it to come. And then simply, um, you just want to go to the opacity tool, and you want to change this to like 10%. And now, I don't know if you guys can see that, but it gives it like a kind of a, okay, like the top part is, uh, it's a lighter, it's a little grayish now, and the bottom is black, and what that does is it gives it like this, it gives it a, it is gloss effect. Now, just let me make a quick background so you guys could see it. So here, I'll just show you guys another little tutorial thing. So just a, just a nice little simple background. You guys, oh yeah, and then I almost forgot. And then as you can see, let's say you have a black background like this, and you can see this, and you obviously don't want that. So what you want to do is you want to click on your on your text layer, and you want to hold down control, and just click on that little T right there. What that does is it, high, is it basically goes around um, your text, and then you want to simply, uh, you want to be on your elliptical marquee tool, you want to right click, oh my bad, up, let me... Okay, yeah, you want to right click and go select inverse. What that does is it basically selects everything outside, um, like the text area, and then you want to go over it to the shape layer that we made with the gloss, and then you just want to hit delete. And as you can see, now it's only where the text is and it's gone. But only do this after you have it in the position that you want it to be, because obviously, if you look, if I try to move it now, it like you can't do it because we already cut it and finalized it. Now, just let me. Oh, yeah, and, and now back to the background thing. So, yeah, you guys could just make it like a black or whatever. And then it's just a, it's just a, a nice little simple thing that that makes it look good. And then just set this to like um, white, I guess. Or you could do like a little tinted yellow or orange -y color. That looks good too. Just like that. And then let's go in the middle and just go out. Oh, my bad. Make sure you have this on the circle one. And then. And there you go, you just have a nice little vignette type thing going on here. And yeah, there you got the gloss. And this also works on 3D text. So, one sec. Okay guys, so here I got some 3D text now. So let's just resize that. I press Control T and I'm just going to make it a little smaller. And I'm going to show you guys how it looks on basically, actually, let's just 
get oops did not mean to do that let's just get rid of that um I'm gonna go back to my rectangle marquee tool and just just want to get rid of that uh, designs part I just want to leave it at dope just for this tutorial again so now again we can go to our elliptical marquee tool make it however we like so I just kinda put that exactly where I want it then you want to go to your paint bucket tool fill it in click somewhere else to deselect it and you can turn your opacity anywhere I wouldn't say going over 10 is uh well it it really depends what, what color because like as you can see on this um like it that's fine for me that that's the amount of, of like gloss I want but since it's a light color you can't really see it but when you make it too light it kinda turns into like this contrast problem and I really don't like it so like I, I kinda stay around like 15 would be, would be like the maximum I would go so for this I would go 15 since this color is pretty light and now again we just want to um you wanna go on your on your text layer right here the 3d one for me you wanna hold control and just click the picture then simply go over to your gloss right here um oh wait actually first we have to go back to the text layer and go select inverse go back to our gloss and press delete and as you can see it gives it a very cool effect and it it looks like way more professional and it just gives everything a that nice touch to it so yeah hopefully this tutorial helped you guys if it did please uh, comment and thumbs up it helps a lot and yeah uh, leave a comment down below what you want me to make a tutorial next on so again, hopefully you guys enjoyed this and peace out guys. Oh yeah, and I will be making um, a little special video for you guys for uh, 3.5k. So thank you guys. This really does mean a lot to me. Um, my channel is going quick and I'm going to keep making videos for you guys and trying to keep you guys entertained and educate you guys. So yeah, peace out.